previously on McLeod's Daughters. Well, there's a lot of stuff here. You sure you're okay with this? Well, I can't guarantee anything. I am only Mr. Tanaka's wife. Yeah, but they like us. They're impressed, right? Yeah, very. I saw a story in a gossip column about her breaking off an engagement. Big deal, that's no crime. It was three weeks ago. I was gonna tell you, I when? just... When the time was right, it's more complicated than you think. I trusted you. Why did Jack McLeod leave me so much money? Because he thought he, he was your father. Was he? I don't know. I was there when you took your first steps and... They were walking down the aisle. You know, there were a lot of steps in between. What's wrong, love? You weren't here for me. My whole life, you weren't here. If you were to fall pregnant, it's almost certain you'll miscarry. You're saying I can't have children? Well, the last of the 500. How long till the truck gets here? Oh, about half an hour. How's that for efficiency? <laughs> The Japanese would be proud. <laughs> are you excited, girls? You're going to see Tokyo! Well, bits of you are. <laughs> hey, guys. Anyone expecting a roof repairman? Who the hell is that? There's only one way to find out. Hello, sweetheart. Dad. I roofed these sheds with Jack McLeod. Must be 25 years ago now. Saw a couple of loose sheets. Thought I'd make myself useful, you know. What are you doing here? Yeah, a bit out of the blue, I know. I just came to see my gorgeous daughter, didn't I? <sighs> well, you got a hug for your dear old dad? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got a lot of catching up to do, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> just a bit. Addicted to the sold air, I love the sea. And I found out the brother of a mate of mine was buying into a tuna fishing boat. Dear luck, as it turns out. Ah, it sounds expensive. Yeah, well, he needed a partner and I'd saved over 40 grand, so... So you're a tuna fisherman? <laughs> we'll be soon. Based out of Port Lincoln, which is just round the corner, really, isn't it? Yeah. I'm guessing you haven't spoken to Mum recently. Meg? Not for a few years, no. Is she OK? Well, she's great. She's written a book and she's travelling the country. Blimey. And she's married to Terry. I really have been away a long time, haven't I? Um, you know, I don't know what your plans are, but you're welcome to stay. Is that OK? Of course. I'll ask the others, but we've got plenty of room. Done. You know, I was saying to my business partner, I've got this lovely daughter, and the only thing between us and a beautiful future is about 300 k's and 20 years of lost time. On smoker already. Sorry, I was just wasting time. Get your shirt on. Almost finished. Almost is not going to cut it this week, Patrick. The wedding's practically on top of us. I need this place sorted, mate. Well, it wasn't a waste of time anyway. It was your wedding present. It's a black and white portfolio of Kalani. Fiona will love it. Stuff that, mate. I want a toaster, right? A blinking four slicer at that. There we go. Trouble? No, no trouble. Just me future mother-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your father's still in Singapore, but I waitlisted an early flight and I got lucky. Oh, it's great that you're here early. Not that we aren't completely organised. <laughs> <laughs> Just have to sleep in the shearing sheds, that's all. Oh, he's the man. G'day, Alex. Oh, 
Welcome to Kalani. Thanks. I was really sorry to hear about your dad. It must have been a terrible shock for you. Thank you. Harry always liked to keep us on our toes. <laughs> I bet he was proud of you, Alex. And look at this wonderful legacy he's left you. Both of you. Well, the bigger the property, the bigger the pain in the neck sometimes. Uh, anyway, I'll get your bags and I'll let Fee Sally in. Plenty of rooms to choose from. Good. Plenty of room for a big family. Mum, <laughs> wedding first. Stay focused. <laughs> Don't worry, Trudy. We won't be mucking about. Not even a phone call? Well, you might have said don't come. And I wanted to be here for you. Just for the last few days. Everything's fine. So he's going to be here for a few days, I think. So can you call me back as soon as you get this, Mum, so I can put Dad on the phone? Because I think you have something to tell him. Bye. They're in central Queensland. It might be a while. This is a nightmare. How can she not tell him he's not my real dad? I guess she thought he wouldn't turn up again. I mean, he's popped up, what, twice, hasn't he, since... Since I was a baby. His boss's baby. His boss who slept with his wife. OK, well, I guess you'll just have to be honest. It's not my job to tell him Mum had an affair. Then again, he thought he had a daughter all this time, and now... You don't really owe him any favours, though, Jode. I mean, he's practically... Ignored me. You're right. You're right. We're not going to say anything until Mum calls and spells it out. Jodie Chuck's here. Oh, great. That too. Hey! Hey! Uh, I've just been chatting to your father here. We've just been swapping sheep tips. Not that I'll need them bobbing around out in the bite, of course. <laughs> you must have a lot to talk about. Oh, yeah, this and that. I, um, I rang Mum and left a message. She's going to be so excited to know you're here. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> what did you tell him? I didn't tell him anything. I didn't know what to say. This is sick. Guys, I think we might have a problem. Yeah, some of us, maybe. No, I mean a sheep problem. They're supposed to be Sean. It's part of the deal. What? No, no, guys, I read this before I signed it. Oh, God, how did I miss that? Jodie, I'm sorry. Well, he's here now, so what are we going to do? Um, uh, okay, maybe if we get on the phone, maybe they'll be flexible about it. Sure or nothing, that's what I'll tell you. No, 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 this is our first shipment to Japan. I mean, if we stuff this up. If they aren't ready, that's it. Sorry. Everything OK? It will be. And this is where we keep the stock before market, or if we need to vaccinate or anything like that. Oh, gee, it's a huge operation. Do you ever manage to get a break? The truth is, Trudy, I hardly ever do. Well, just so long as you're penciling Christmas at Port Douglas. Port Douglas? Yeah, my brother's got a house up there. The whole family piles in every year, and no one's allowed to miss it, are they? You'll like it. It's fun. Hey, you might here. Keep going. Big enough to hold a circus. You could ride Keep in going. on an elephant. Keep going. Trudy, this is Dave Brewer, my best man. Trudy Webb. Ah, oh, charmed. Fiona's sister, I take it. <laughs> I wish. I'm the mother. Well, I can see where she gets her good looks. <laughs> I can see why he's the best man. Mm. Righto, Dave, dinner tonight. Stevie's coming. We'll whack on a meal for the wedding party. Sounds good, mate. We can talk through the whole wedding day. Yeah, and we can talk about Port Douglas, too. Well, I mean, these are quality sheep. Can't you juggle the schedule just a little bit? No, I'll wait. Just checking with the boss to see if we can buy some more time. Great. Yep, I'm still here. That's right, I'm Jodie Fountain. I'm one of the owners. Oh, that sounds great. Yep, we can do that, absolutely. Thank you so much. We won't let you down. Thank you. Bye. They're going to send us another truck. We just have to shear 500 sheep. Great. How long do we have? Till 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. <laughs> Stevie, I really think we can do this. With a gun shearing team, which we won't find. Anyway, you've got a bigger problem. Kevin just overheard you. He knows you're an owner now. What? Yeah, I know. Bugger. What? Go. 